Okay, so we're just lining up. This is our new pellet feeder module. That's what's gonna, more or less what it's gonna look like on top. We have a lid, of course. Pellets inside. Okay, we're just gonna have a look at the bottom of the pellet feeder. You can see there's the feeder and that's the little burn basket down there. There we go, and we see how that uh, puts the pellets right up into the optimal burn position, that angle. And they're just starting to smolder now. We've only just lit it up for the pellet feeder module that sits onto any of our rocket stoves. So this is the Eco 1. It will fit equally onto the 2 and the Eco 3. Okay, that's our pellets from the top side. We've taken a few out just to get more air in there. Well, there we go. We can see the pellet feeder burning actually really nicely. The plywood is more or less finished. Now what's burning is the pellets. A nice rocket there. You can see a nice suction coming through. See how uh, flame is coming out of the pellet feed. Even though the holes are smaller than we want, uh, still it's burning really well. We've now filled in here so there's no extra air from the top there. Nice clean rocket. We see actually when we do that, we'll see if we get smoke back here. So that's going to have a lid, of course. Yep. Okay, we'll just put a temporary lid like that. It's flaming actually very nicely. Not a bad test for our second generation of Proto. There's our first generation of prototype over here, quite a bit different. So this is definitely a step forward. I would guess we'd probably have five to 10 kilos of um, pellets in that hopper. We'll weigh that a little eventually. And there's a lot of heat coming out of the stove at the moment. So they're definitely working. Okay, now we're gonna close the back exhaust to the lower vent which will just change the back pressure slightly. And we've still got a really good flame coming from the pellet feeder. I thought the holes were gonna to be too small, but actually, I'm actually thinking they're pretty good at the moment. All right, let's have a proper look. Right. That changes the whole pressure. I just opened the door, and look at that. The pressure changed completely. See in here. Right, we're just about going through this batch of pellets. That's the sawdust pellets. Okay, now we're just putting in some pine needle pellets, which are these 10 mm needle pellets. Putting them on top. Have a look in here. We've got a really nice look at that pellet fire in there. That's looking really good. You can see it sucking well and truly into the rocket vortex. That's looking pretty good. Right, so we'll just wait now for the pine needle pellets to catch on. Just transitioning now from sawdust pellets to pine needle pellets. We've got a really good burn going there. Our rocket, which is working beautifully. It's a perfect amount of rocket. She's smoky. There's the pipe coming across outside, and look at there. That's pretty clean. There's just a little waft of smoke there, but not much. That's pretty clean.